Okay, so in this section, I want to talk in general about the types of dances that are out there for you to attend, the kind of dance styles that you might like, um, and that would really have to depend on are you single, are you a couple, what kind of music do you like, is there a particular style that you've seen on TV that you think you might like. Now, some people think that ballroom is too stuffy, some people think that Latin is only for single people and younger people. There are swing dances, East Coast and West Coast swing, country dances. Again, it depends on what you're looking for, what you think you might enjoy. Now, you may have to practice them and experience them before you even know. So at this point, you may not know what you want. What's important is to get you started, teach you some basic moves, and then you decide what to do next. For example, you may decide to go take some lessons. And if I help you to go take lessons to the point where you're not intimidated or embarrassed, then I've achieved my goal. Maybe you're going to practice at home or you're going to go and practice at one of these dances. And something I want to emphasize to you is you need to practice and learn at a dance class or at home in your living room. Don't learn on the dance floor. There's somewhere that you need to go to practice uh, your moves, the ones that you know well, and to have fun and socialize. It's not the place to try a new move because I can assure you things will go wrong and you won't be a happy camper. So try and limit your exposure on a dance floor to things that you know well. Types of dances that are out there. There are what we call strict ballroom dances where you're expected to attend with a partner and they only dance international ballroom styles. And that would be waltz, foxtrot, quickstep. On the Latin side, they would dance cha-cha, rumba, and tango. And then there are less formal ballroom dances where they play a much wider variety of music, which allows you to dance any style that you like. You can dance international. There's also what they call American or social dancing. That's on the ballroom side, which includes some Latin. Um, they may include country dancing. They may include uh, more Latin, which would include salsa and bachata. So there you have uh, a more wider variety. Now, there's also what we call social dancing, and the word social means different things to different people. To a lot of people, it simply means that it's singles and couples where they play a variety of music and you ask each other to dance. To some people, it means it's popular music and maybe no one there or few people there know any structured dance styles. It's simply freestyle, as you would do, say, at a wedding. So these are things that you need to find where they are. Once you get comfortable and you know some moves in a particular style, go to those dances and experience them. And I recommend you go more than once because you may go and have a bad experience the first time. And yet when you go the next time, it's a completely different experience depending on people you might meet or where you sit in the room. There's a lot of variables there that can make or break your evening. So, that's an introduction to the type of dances and dance styles out there that you can attend and you need to decide what you want to do. Moving on from there, what is dancing exactly? Well, a lot of people will tell you that dancing is simply walking to music. Now you're walking forward, you're walking back, you're walking sideways, you're turning. And so that's an oversimplification. You are dancing or dancing is walking to music, that's true. However, you're doing it on time to the music, depending on what the beat is, and it could be slow, it could be fast. You also have to know the moves in order to execute the particular dance style. That comes with some um, instruction and practice, and practice, and practice, and practice. You also have to know how to lead or to follow someone who's leading you as a couple. This is a difficult thing to learn as at the same time you're trying to learn the footwork, but it's something that comes with time. So there is an introduction or an idea of the types of dances that are out there, the styles that are available to you. You have to decide what you like and what you would like to do, and that could take time, and what dancing is about.